So, we've had Madness return and then disappear, courtesy of a capture fail. The Alice Street unfortunately is about it. Fingers crossed I'll find a way to bring that back in the future. But for now, we're going to go back to the PlayStation 1 era for a game which most people may not remember. It's one of my all-time favourite RPGs, but it's very different compared to what it was before. Yes, Arista Jack, that's right, the chat box is over in that direction. Alice failed. The catcher failed out of nowhere. So we're going to go back and play something new instead. Very old school. Check out those graphics, people. You might see a lot of parallels to Legend of Zelda in this game. It actually mirrors more a forgotten Genesis classic called Landstalker, which I actually have on the PlayStation, on the Mega Drive Classic Mini. Say for me, this is hard to actually um, look at because the pixels are so pronounced on my monitor. I know on my capture feed on the other screen over in that direction, it looks far smoother. So hopefully it's looking nice and cool for all of you lot. And there we are, that's our intro, people. This is us. This is the character we play, Adventurer, with a little dagger. That's all we've got here. That's our character, Alundra. Very old school, 1997 this came out. I can't tell you how weary I am of looking at the sea and clouds for days. I'm so happy to be on dry land again. Um, yeah, you feel the agree we are on that one. Why do you be wanting, boy? Have you forgotten where your cabin is again? Damnation! For the fifth time, lad! Your cabin's the one on the rack! Yeah, you're certainly not the sharpest cutlass on the rack! Sharpest cutlass on the rack? That's a nice, that's a nice phrase for you all people. I'm returning my beloved. I've nearly forgotten how it feels to hold her in my arms. And what of you? Why do you travel to Tala? What? You dreams led you to this ship? You ain't one of them freak boys, are you? What does it mean by freak boy? I, I can't say I've ever heard that insult in my life. Can anyone throw me a bone? And by the way, to complete the PS1 feel, I've even brought back the PlayStation 1 Classic controller. But due to the, my setup, you're not going to see very much of it. Now there's some guy- oh there he is. You're feeling seasick? Arr, drop anchor over side, boy. I just swabbed the bloomin' dicks. Make sure to buy a NES. It's not that it's not that pixelated. What's the matter, kid? You look a mile pale. Huh, you've been having the same trouble and dream of a single night? Ah, it's the seasickness fog in your land loving mind. It'll pass. If you'll excuse me, I better attend to easing the ship in the port. It should be near. Yep, so he's obviously the captain, Captain Merrick. This is Captain Boycott speaking. During flight, we'll go as high as I like for as long as I'm bloody like, because I'm captain. Champion. Beautiful, eh? I've been a sailor since I was a lad younger than you. And haven't you tired of watching the waves roll across the pristine waters beneath the bow? Then why are you walking along the deck so mightily fast all the time, instead of watching the waters? You're headed for the village of Inola. That's a good distance from Taller, as I recall. What kind of business takes you to such a remote place? You wouldn't believe me if I told you, Captain. You would not believe me. You were screaming in your sleep again last night, boy. I could have sworn you're on fire. There's a crack in the wall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the rest to fix it? I'm in no hurry. He basically doesn't want to do his job, people. That's the kind of crew we have on board the ship. And here's our cabin. So, for a random traveller, he's got his own cabin, and watch how we go to bed. Watch this. Ah, 
that's how you, you can literally walk into your bed, but you can still move around. So, uh, you know what I mean? That's really primitive 2D texture right there, isn't it, people? So, let's go and talk to everybody else again. Ah, the captain's no longer in his room. You're making me nervous, kiddo. Go lie down for a while. Why not have yourself another one of those freak of dreams while you're at it? People don't like this guy, do they? One called him a freak, boy, and the other said, go and have one of your freaky dreams. Next thing you know, Mookie from Final Fantasy VII with his big moustache and beard will turn up. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I am the one known as Lars. I am a wizard, and one of the guardians of the seal. The time grows short before I am bound once more. Okay, Lars from Metallica has come to my- Listen to that music, people. Atmospheric. Very, very creepy music. Bit weird they played over a village scene, though, isn't it? Can you hear me, Lisa? North of Inoa is a dark, deep lake. Below its murky surface, a wretched demon has slumbered for 1,000 years. Now the foul beast stirs once more. We stand on the threshold. You make me laugh, feeble one. No one has the power to stop me now. Especially not a miserable human. Tell me then, Nozas. If humans are so powerless, how is it that prosperity is yours only by means of their efforts? Don't you understand, wizard? Humans have long since ceased being of use to me. Their presence in my reality has become nothing more than a fawn in my side. Soon I shall. Why do you snicker, old man? Do you dare to mock my judgment? I laugh because you're afraid. You talk of destruction, yet you fear the strength of humanity. Why else would you come here now to stop me from sending my message of redemption? Admit your cowardice, foul fiend! I am not so cruel as to steal away the last shred of hope from one drawing his final breath. Believe what she will, Lars. But do tell me about this person you call the Releaser. What is his name? Or hers? My time in this world has come to an end, Releaser. But I have served my purpose. You now know of the great power locked within you. Heed my words, Releaser. Travel to Inoa. Use your strength to stop the demon. I now travel to the next world. Releaser! <laughs> Today it is Lars. Tomorrow it is you, Elisa. And then the end of mankind. It is destiny. It is fate. Oh, that's really, really 
freaky. The door is jammed shut. Okay, well, do you remember when it was mentioned of a crack in the wall? Why don't we use it to get the hell out of here? Stand fast, everyone! I sailed the ship through storms twice as ferocious. Hey, listen to the captain! The lady in the sea could never raise a swell strong enough to polish off the clock! Captain! We're headed straight for the reef! Hold on! The sweet mother of God! We're... You're awake. <laughs> this is progress. This is good. I was afraid you might be having an eternal rest. You know what I'm saying? My name is Jess. I am a swordsmith here in Inoa. Decent money. Make my own hours. No big whoop. What is your name? Alundra. Hmm? Pleased to make your acquaintance, Alundra. You're on board the clock. Were you not, Alundra? You are lucky to be alive, you know. What I am saying? They would have found a piece of that ship bigger than my fist. But let us not talk about that. Let us talk about you, my new friend. You are welcome to stay here until you are fully recovered. I live by myself. Once you leave, I'll be a lonely old fat man again. Not that you should feel bad. Oh, Jess! Oh, the feels, no way! Oh, I almost forgot. That book next to the bed, it's a special diary. You want to use it? Fine by me. I got it for myself. But how many ways can you write, made a sword today? Um, today I made a sword. A sword was forged this day. That, that's three already. You can even use, today, comma, I forged a sword. Today I, comma, forged a sword. Today I forged, comma, a sword. So that's another four. And considering no one turned on the screen for an English lesson, let's leave it at that. Reserving one volume for Alundra's tale. It's really weird, you have to first confirm with the square button, and then confirm again with the cross button. So it feels a bit counterintuitive, but here we are. So, we have 10 hit points, we have absolutely no money, with no healing, we've got a tiny little jump, and a pathetic little slosh. That's it, people. We might as well be going around naked. <laughs> Good evening, Joe. You're saying English lesson wouldn't hurt with your broken English. <laughs> you, you need a better tutor than I. I can tell you that for free. Oh, so many people in this small village. Have you met them all yet, Alundra? Yep, so the game's basically telling me to go out and talk to people. The chest is locked. If the keyhole shape wasn't so unusual, it could be picked. Yeah, it can be picked. You see that massive sledgehammer in, in the in the forge? Pick it with that. You feel strong enough to explore the village. This is good. The people of Inoa are very nice. Not as nice as me, of course, but they try. If you start to feel weak, be sure to come back here and rest, all right? So, yes. Oh. 
You're the one from my dreams. The one summoned from the realm of our unconscious. You've come to save us. Yes, look at those eyes, people. Don't those eyes look um, freaky? Your appearance is just as it was in my dreams, Alundra. Well, perhaps you're a little shorter. Oh, that, that, that's right. Yes, that's right. I'm the stranger in town and you've been dreaming of me, but still mock me. Ruin my illusion of being a Chad. Yeah, we've got doggos, but you can't talk to them. I, I wasn't trying to attack the doggo, I was trying to talk to her. And like in all classic RPGs, you can cut down the foliage to find things. So, apologies, I know you've been growing that garden forever, love, but I want to find I want to find myself some hard gems and some money. Hope you don't mind. Hello, young man. You look much better than you did when Jess first found you. What's that? You were approached by a strange girl with sullen eyes. But there's no need to be afraid of Sybil, young man. She often has strange dreams and speaks strangely of them. But my daughter is a very sweet and loving person. And you'd be just the right kind of guy to marry her and take her off my hands. Oh, it's the same dialogue. Sometimes they get new dialogue and other times they don't. So, um, I'm the biggest menace to the start of this town. Oh, money. I found money. I have one coin, people. Yes. Oh, we're rich now, people. We've got one coin. Oh, it's not my fault. We went insane, damn it. It's not my fault. Yeah, don't, don't mind me, mate. I'm just gonna break your house. See, that's probably one of the first times you've seen an actual drunk character depicted with the bottle in the hands. It's actually quite sad, and it's interesting that that was in a game this early. Welcome to my castle, handsome stranger. Who gave you permission to enter my bedchamber? God! Off with his head! It's funny, isn't it, love? You just can't help but laugh. <laughs> no means no, you pervert! Don't make me smack you! He said she'd gone a little... loose. And... yeah. Um, okay. I can understand um, it being very difficult to um, have to care for that kind of condition. So that's actually really, really interesting that they depicted it in this, again for a game in the 1990s as well. That's actually really surprising. To be fair, the plants need guarding from Alundra. Look at the, look at the mess he's causing. I'm a stranger in town, but guess what? I want, I want everything you've got. Give me all your money. I'm gonna go finding it. I am Crocodile Dundee and I'm scything down your foliage. Yes, yes, I know of you. The boy from the beach. Now please leave me alone. I'm quite busy, you know. Oh, wow, um... Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, our, our Sundaray, it would seem, I think. I think we found our Sundaray. I love the music in this game, it's so old school. Oh, poor Nadia. It's been three days since she slept. You ask me why, stranger? Because whenever she sleeps, the power of her mind wreaks havoc all around her. It's an evil, wretched curse. Ooh. Is there anybody else around here? No, but there's lots more boxes to break. And they might contain money, so let's keep smashing, smashy, smash more. So I say, I just want to say again, apologies for what happened with the Alice stream. I don't know what happened with my capture card. 
and it may be that ironically we might have to end the series i don't want to so i'm going to try and find a way to make it work i may possibly have to do it as an off offline let's play to finish it depending on what i can get doing with the capture card we shall see so you're the dude everyone's talking about well met bro this is tumbleweed central the entertainment department but the babes are righteous and the service most excellent brah sorry dude faux pas yes that's right we have a surfer dude in this game get up close so i can see you son we don't make many visitors around here well, um, I can't get any closer without climbing into bed with you, and I really don't want to do that game. No thanks. Who are you? Oh, yeah, the boy from the beach. Yeah, I'm in the middle of repairing this gate, so perhaps we can speak later. Yay! <laughs> At least he isn't talking about tarot cards. <laughs> How can I help you? <laughs> well, then what do we have here? You brought much joy to chess, lad. I haven't seen this happy in ages. I just realized that if his son had survived birth, he'd be your age by now. And his wife would be... Well, that's just foolish talk. Can't change the past. Wendell was nearing the end. How hard must be lying in that cold bed, imprisoned in his own decaying body. Ooh. Ooh, that's rather grim. <laughs> Avian, I don't think my voice helped. I, I, I don't think the way I voiced Mr. Dude helped. Let's be fair here. Oh. Someone's actually locked that gate very tight. Intriguing. Now this is weird, watch this. I can actually stand on the heads. There you go. It's completely no sells it. Doesn't care. What's her head made of? How much strength has she got in her skull? It's not just her. This guy's the same. Apparently everyone's going mad in this town. Well, if you can take this kind of punishment without feeling anything, I wonder why. Oh, I accidentally attacked a chicken. See, it's one of those games. You can explore places and find things. Hey, Doggo. One for you, Avian. Oh. I'm not in control all of a sudden. Grandpa, you need help. I'll be right back, I promise. You can't die, Grandpa. You just can't die. No. I brought someone to help, just like I said. Is he wearing a amulet of Neva? It was supposed to protect him. The only person going to help him now is Septimus. I'm sure of it. My grandpa's having a nightmare, and we need Septimus to help him. He's in the house to the left of this one. Go outside up the stairs. Please hurry. Bring him here right away. And just like that, we're on a fetch quest. Meanwhile, before I do that... Because as far as I know, there's no clock for doing this. But watch me now have doomed a villager because I've got curious about what people have got in the bedrooms. Typical RPG problems there, people. <laughs> they walk like they're wearing flippers, Avian. Uh, you're not wrong, the animation! It's sometimes amazing, and other times it's very, very... Bizarre. 
I can't bear to go. I can't look into their tear-filled eyes and tell them I don't know what to do. All these damn books, all my years of study, and I can't free Wendell from his nightmare! I'm not a scholar, I'm a fool. Wait, let me see your forehead. Y you will have to buy me dinner. At the very, very least. You, you bear the scar. I am Satimus. For years I have studied the human mind and the world of dreams. In one of my ancient books, a legend is written of a boy with a mark on his forehead. I've been to university, I don't remember any of the sources that I studied, I mean, anything like that in it. He is said to be at once blessed, and cursed. Granted the awesome power to enter the dreams of others as they slumber. At least, I always believed it was but a legend. I have a favor to ask of you, Dreamwalker. My petition is a journey to the home of Tarn, my former tutor. Perhaps it will yield a clue. Something to explain what's happening to Wendell, and perhaps a way to stop it. To find the house, head directly east from this place. I'll go to Wendell and try to ease his suffering for the present. But please hurry, for if we cannot ease Wendell's pain, I fear I shall have the unenviable task of ending it. Good luck, friend, and thank you. Um, the unenviable task of ending it. That's advocating something I don't want to say the name of. Hey you, peasant! Do you plan to reside in our fair village? Well then, from this moment forth, you are my servant, understand? If you don't do whatever I say, I'll tell my dad. He's the mayor, and he'll tear you a new one, peasant. How about... Shut the fuck up. You little knob. Examining the parchment. Because obviously I've been writing in chalk or something here. So it's a new beginning, we are HP 10, that's all we've got. Do not power off or hit reset. If you do, you might damage your memory card. Well, if I had a memory card, but I'm doing it a different way, as those of you who've watched my streams before will know. Allows me to get a higher resolution quality, and it's actually more reliable. Unlike a certain Alice game that I've been playing. So beautiful here, isn't it? I like to think that my cemetery is a representation of heaven here below. That this place is almost as beautiful for the body as heaven is for the soul. I'm not going to pass common on that. I'm just going to walk away. Yep, yeah, see, there we go, people. We now have demons to kill. Meanwhile, good evening, Queen. How's it going so far? It's going all right. It's playing an old school classic from the PlayStation 1. I'm very sorry about Alice as well. I was enjoying it. I'd spent half an hour getting frustrated. Finally found somewhere to go, and then the next thing I knew, the game just upped and crashed halfway through. My entire system failed. I reset it, but it wasn't enough. They were, it just wouldn't give me any sound, it wouldn't play ball. So regrettably, we had to abort the stream, and I'm very annoyed about it. They said this game's very old school. People will probably automatically think of it as being similar to Legend of Zelda. It actually shares much more in common with a lesser known game from the Sega Mega Drive called Landstalker. It has a very similar style to it. Yeah, that's right, get down there, you. Oh, did I give permission to attack me? No, I did not. So this game's one of those as well, where there's loads of places you can't go to immediately. But then when you get more powers later, you can find things. Oh. I spy, I spy loot. 
Yay, we have some herbs. And what we can do is we can actually equip them. So it says ref refreshes physical strength, and we've now got them available. So we have some actual healing. They are limited, so we can't carry too many of them. Oh, we're being attacked by bees. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping I can fix it too, um, I must say. It'd be nice to get it fixed. Obviously, next month I've got a rather interesting place that I'm going, and I'd like to finish it before then. It's not anywhere special that I'm going next month. You know, it's nowhere important, but I'd like to have the game boxed off if I can beforehand. So we'll see. I say this game, it's not, uh, it's, it's, a, it's quite a long game, but it's not massively long either. So this might be one we're finishing time. Yeah, speaking of the place I'm going that's not that important, I've um, had an update regarding my costume for it. It's on its way. I'm waiting for it to be shipped. What's inside here then? Ah, a place we can't access. Because of the gates. So that's somewhere we'll have to come back to later. Now on this game, it's an old school adventure game. You don't really gain experience. What you do instead is find power-ups. So, it's not one of these games that's a grinding game. So that's a good thing in a way. It's nice for a streaming point, because you won't see me entering what we call our legendary grind streams. Oh, what the hell? I'm being attacked by monkeys with Vegas claws. I didn't take any damage, but that's not the point. Ah, there's enemies down there and they want to attack me, but they can't get to me. And that's a bush that we can't get past yet, so we'll have to come back for that later on. So this is our first dungeon. Tarn's Manor. Those in full command of their mental faculties will heed the course of wisdom and stay away. Meanwhile, good evening, Mark. Welcome to the stream. You say it's the first time in it forever you've been able to get to a stream. Well, you're welcome here nonetheless. Thank you very much. How are you doing, mate? Good evening. So I'm being attacked by the monkeys again. Yeah, they have a very annoying pattern to them. They have a very annoying attack pattern. They're an enemy we'll learn more about as the game progresses. I know all about them, but obviously I don't want to be spoiling the game for you all. Brother's been living you instead of living your best life. Oh, uh, well, I understand that, mate, but it's still pretty cool. Hey, I spy some treasure. Yay, more herbs. Thank you very much. I will happily take those. Ah, it's not letting me jump over the wall. So we have two rooms available. So let's take the small, small room first. Ah, see? Always look for the small route. You'd be surprised what's there. Now, as they, for those of you who weren't here at the start of the stream, this is a game called The Adventures of Alundra. And we can run if we want by holding down the triangle. And it allows us to essentially just go whatever direction we like. Uh, I know that for you in Avian. My work has been hellaciously busy of late. Really bad.
Very simple puzzle. Yeah, you say this reminds you a bit of Wild Arms. It came out at very similar times, actually. Um, it's a game that was um, released a year after Wild Arms. As I say, it's a different kind of RPG because it's, well, I'd say it's more like a traditional revolving adventure game rather than a turn-based um, RPG that we're used to. But it's a great game. It's one of the more, uh, the more lesser-known titles of the era. It's a game which is very highly rated. Often turns up on lists of like, you know, like best uh, PS1 era JRPGs. So the only reason we're playing this, Mark, is because um, the game that I was playing, Alice, decided that it wanted to break. And I couldn't, well, I say the game, the game itself didn't break. My capture software wasn't working. I think my capture uh, box failed me. So I need to look into what happened with my capture card. Because I had this problem using my gaming laptop, and I thought it was my laptop causing the problem. But it seems that the actual issue might well be something to do with my capture card. And that'll be very disappointing if, the case, if that's the case. So this is a bit of a old school approach, isn't it, to puzzling people? No, we're not playing as a speed run. If I was playing as a speed run, I'd be going much faster. Thank you. So it's a great game. Um, you can still play this if you've got the PlayStation 3. The PlayStation 3 store you can buy it for. Otherwise, it's only available on the PlayStation 1. It's never been ported anywhere after that. People have been after it for a long time. Ah, that's uh, so I can get out. Oh. I was afraid I was trapped then. People have wanted it to turn up on the PlayStation Plus Premium. Because I've already had the likes of, you know, Wild Arms, Wild Arms 2, Grandia, Legend of Dragoon. So I've had some great games already of this kind turn up on that system. Right, what's down the middle? Oh, that's not very crooked. I got my power up, and then immediately I got attacked. Oh, well, that's, that's, that's fine. So now we head this way. Ah, so we have a platform that's going to drop down. And what we need to do, I believe... Yeah. Oh. I was thinking that I actually needed to put something in place then, but I don't. I thought I could sneak behind it. But I could not. Yay, we have a key. Ooh! This is available on Amazon for $170. Wow! If you want it, as I say, PlayStation 3, you can get it there. Or you can just do what I do. And a acquire a... See? How old school is that for getting your life increased? How, that's why a lot of people compare this to Zelda. It has, it does have a lot of things that are quite similar. But yes, my brother still has somewhere a copy of the original game. 
Oh, we got mug. Yep, you can you can throw boxes to hit them as well. That's a very good one. That, that's a very nice um, healing item, the strong tonic. Very, very nice indeed. Now what we want to do is go back here because we now have the key. Yep, see, you can throw boxes to kill them if you want to as well. So what do we find in the House of Tarn? The Book of Elmer. I think it's only on disc that he's got it, unfortunately. He's not got the actual one with the book and the manual. It'd be worth a lot of money if he did. Found some more herbs, which is awesome. And here we found... Oh, hello. Thank you. I'll have plenty of money. So as you saw, it's called Gilda. That's the name of the currency in this game. It's not Gil, it's not gold. It's Gilda. I am Melzus, ruler of this wretched land. Those foolish enough to dabble in the affairs of my subjects shall pay the ultimate price. Well, you're really scary when you don't bother to even fight me, you know what I mean? Yeah, I had a feeling that they'd be back. Oh. Come on, attack me. I was there, I'm like, I can't, I'm stood right next to him, but I'm not damaging him. But the main thing is, we didn't actually take any real damage because we got our health back. So, that's our first dungeon complete, people. Mark Tarn's Manor. And it's worth putting down the hedges because you may find money. So that's a very quick way to farm cash in this game. You'd be amazed how quickly you can farm money. There's also some enemies later on that are very, very good for dropping cash. But early on, this is a very simple approach. A neat little tip is if you stand in the right area, you can get as many as nine different squares at once with the sword. So it's actually a very, again, another very good way to um, get through the issue. Saw one of the white monkeys. Tell Klein about it. He's always looking for an excuse to hunt and kill something. So let's see if we can find Klein. He was working on the gate. Then afterwards, we will go to return the book. But before we do that, we're going to quickly save our game. So how do we save our game? Go to our bedroom. And we have a diary. Why does that feel familiar? Saving by writing in a diary. Why does that why does that seem familiar to me? So it feels so amazing to play this game again, so I've not played it in years. I did try doing a stream of it a long time ago, but I was having problems with the software I was using. But now that I've got this software. I'm going to keep this going, I think, so I'd say it's such a nice game, it's very nice to play. You were attacked by Mike Monkeys? Where? Tarn's house? Hmm, they sound like murk. But those foul beasts reside in a dark forest far to the northwest of here. With all the dangerous monsters about, I wouldn't be caught without herbs. Oh jeez, thanks for that, mate. 
right way to state the solid obvious. In a typical RPG fashion, we're supposed to be on an urgent quest to save someone, but we want to talk to another one in town. Because of course we do. Alright, get ready for the creepy eyes on this one. Watch this. I had a dream, Alundra. I saw the darkness trying to enter your heart. Yet I also beheld you driving it back. Yes. Look at those eyes, people. Sybil's been having more dreams in the past few days than I can count. I have an awful feeling something terrible is about to happen. Oh yeah, by the way, for those of you who weren't here earlier in the stream, watch this for a weird feature of this game. Why? You can literally stand on people's heads. Now, I do want to show something rather funny off in a moment. Assuming it'll let me. But first, just check there's nobody else in this house, and there is not. That's fine. Okay. So, for those of you who played old-school Zelda games, in particular the ones on the Game Boy, you might get a kick out of this in a moment. Yeah, you can jump on the furniture, and you can jump on people's heads. That's the thing. You can actually jump on people's heads. So here is the item shop. Welcome to my shop. You wish to purchase anything, just throw it on the counter. Yep, so what you have to do, quite literally. I'm dreadfully sorry, but that armor is simply not for sale. You see, it's been in my family for ages. Since my father's father's father, in fact. You understand, don't you? Well, then don't put it on sale. Now... Normally what you do is throw it on the throw it on the table and that's how you pay it. But watch this. I know these are tough times. In fact, we're all feeling the pinch. But if you try to walk out of here without paying for that, I'm afraid I'll have to break your kneecaps. Yep, unlike in the Game Boy version of Zelda, you can't steal it and then everyone call you a thief. She just threatens to kneecap you. Now out of curiosity, how much money does she want for this? A life vessel! Hmm, pricey. But a crime choice for especially discriminating. It's 500 gilder, okay. I've not got that kind of money. I'm sorry, I couldn't be of more assistance. Let me know if you need help with anything else. That's a useful item later on, but for now it's not. Yep, nicest enforcer ever, Queen. You're not wrong. I, I'm, I'm afraid I'll have to break your kneecaps. It's, it's, it's almost, you know, gas ire levels of yonder, right, isn't it? It's like... I'll have to kneecap you, senpai. It's that, ki it's that kind of energy. <laughs> is Klein still working on the game? No, he's not. Hmm. So where is he? I'm curious enough to tell him about the monkeys that attacked us. Oh yeah, you'll get a kick out of this too if he's here. Listen to this guy. Why chick's so nosy? Compared to that Sarah's... Uh, forget it, dude. Yeah, we've, we, we've got a surfer boy around here. Ah, there he is. You also have Muck as a soul you with Torrance Manor. Though it appears you think it'll be a planned attack. I believe it was something else. They were defending their territory out of pure instincts, I'd wager. Um, I don't. There was this weird blue figure who threatened to, like, take my soul to purgatory. I don't think it had anything to do with territory there, my friend. Yep, there's the doggo. Say hi to the doggo while we can. certainly died too. Sentiment, please help my grandpa. You're the only one who can save him. Despite my having prayed at the shrine of Magiska, there was no change. I can't believe that all that prayer did no good. Perhaps I wasn't sincere enough. Uh, Alundra, you've returned. And you brought a book. 
Satsumus is handed a tome. I see. Alundra, you are of the clan Elna, the Dreamwalkers. You had the power to enter the dreams of other people and change their outcome. You can use this power to rescue Wendell from his disabling nightmare. You must go to him at once. I'll keep reading as you attempt to enter his dream, to assist you. Are you ready, Alundra? Take Wendell's wrist gently in your hand. There, that's it. Now, concentrate. Try to feel his heartbeat pulse beneath your fingertips. Listen to the rise and fall of his breath, Alundra. Try to breathe in time with him. Inhale. Exhale. In. Out. In. Out. In. Do you feel the flow, Alundra? Are you ready to make the leap? So this is one of the coolest features of this game. The dungeons take place in people's dreams. That's right! That theme was done as early as the PlayStation 1. Help! Please! Help me! Please! Deliver me! Help me! Someone! Anyone! So this is our, like, first major challenge dungeon. And it's very much an introduction to the puzzles, where a lot of it switches moving blocks. It's very... As I say, it's PlayStation 1. So it has the very ancient style to it. But listen to this music. Doesn't this give you major creepy vibes? Some more herbs. How many have I got now? I've got seven. That's useful. Ah. I cannot go any further. The game says no. But we can now go this way. And again, it's one of those games where you can find treasure. Very important you find those because they are missable. And if you miss them, later on you will be kicking yourself. Oh. Oh, really? Is that really the best you can do? You can take advantage of some of the options here. You can cheese certain enemies if you put your position in right. <laughs> Access denied. Access denied. So, yeah, like the, like, like the bats in the first Zelda mark. I'm not, I'll be honest, mate. I've not actually played a Zelda since um, Ocarina of Time. Oh, thank the gods! You've come at last! Who, who are you? 
Alondre, please tell me you've come to release me from this horrible nightmare. So here we go, people. It's first boss time. And for this one, it's more about positioning than anything else. And as you can see, when it's flashing, you can't hit it. So you kind of just have to keep on aiming. If you really want to be cheesy... This part's probably the most annoying bit. Where they go into smaller pods and can cover more space. But the good news is... That they don't take as much many hits. And you can use the old guy as cover. Yes, I know I'm trying to free you from this nightmare. Would you mind being my human shield for me? I'm doing all the leg work here, so at least you can do. Take a few hits, tank him for me. Tank a few hits. Yeah, that's fine, you'll be fine, mate. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. They're not going to kill you. They can't. They don't know what to do. Leave them alone. It's fine. So this, uh, this feels more of a grind than it should be because of the weapon we've got. But as you can see, eventually, you get them down to the basics. And if you're quick... You can whirl them down. And that gives us some more breathing space to play around with. There we go. The Gelatinoid has been defeated. What a name, Gelatinoid. I like that. Whew. Thunderation. That was some of the finest swordsmanship I've ever witnessed. Thank you. Alondra, can you hear me? It is I, Septimus. Wendell's body has stopped tensing, and he's not moaning anymore. In fact, he appears to be smiling. I don't know what you did, but his nightmare is definitely over. And there we go. The nightmare ends. You're back now. It was so strange. When you went on Wendell's dream, your body went slack. If I hadn't studied you, you certainly would have fallen to the floor. When you entered the dream, your eyes appeared to reanimate. It was quite a sight to behold. There's no need to be concerned, Mead. It appears that it's to be the norm when he enters others' dreams. I understand what you're saying, but it still gives me the shivers. Oh, where am I? What in tarnation is going on? You're awake! Yay! Oh, Could someone explain what in Hades I'm doing in bed at this hour? What's in Hades? Don't you remember, Father? You've been asleep for the past three days, trapped in a terrible nightmare. But you're okay now. You're awake, and more importantly, alive! 
I remember now. I was being chased by a foul, horrid creature of pure evil. No matter where I fled in that terrible world, the beast found me. At last I fell to the ground, too exhausted to continue the cruel charade. When I struggled to my feet to face my end, I saw the glorious face of Alundra and my salvation. Grandpa knows Alundra's name. He couldn't have known that unless Alundra really went into his dream. How cool is that? Wendell has survived. Praise the gods. I must report this wonderful news to Chancellor Ronan at once. Why was he listening outside the door? Well then, Halundra. I guess it's time we left Wendell alone for some much needed rest. Come, return with me to my home, and I'll explain your powers in greater detail. While you were gone, I uncovered some fascinating things about your gift. Sentimus, Alundra! Thank you so much for saving Grandpa! Well, I'm not in control, that. Alundra's... Greetings, Alundra. Chancellor Ronan has requested an audience with you, and sent me to fetch you, Alundra. If you could come to me to the sanctuary to meet him, he'd be most appreciative, I'm certain. Ronan wants to speak with you. Well, that's certainly strange, but you better see what he wants. I'd certainly be pleased to learn that Wendell's alright. Tell you what, Alundra, after you and he have spoken, meet me back here at my home so we can discuss your powers at length. Follow me to the sanctuary, if you would, Alundra. This way. Hmm? Yes, I know, Alundra. Wendell has survived. The gods held forth a threat of salvation for his soul. Let us pray to the gods and thank them for their undeserved, undeserved benevolence. No, I reject your god. One more god rejected. Have you no respect for the powers of salvation? On your knees, let us pray to the gods and thank them for the undeserved kindness they have extended. Have you no respect for the powers of salvation? On your knees, so as you can see, no matter how many times I choose it, the game will not let me reject the theological path. I have no choice. I could literally spend the next hour of the stream choosing no, and we will get absolutely nowhere. I've never understood why game designers made this mechanic back in the 1990s. To this day, I don't comprehend it. So, because I don't want to spend the next hour rejecting God and going on an endless argument that's not going to change, I'm going to reluctantly say yes. You see, the gods do exist. They exist in the hearts and minds of those that pray dearly to them. <laughs> yes, Queen. Because you can't play as an atheist, 0 out of 10. Which, it's going to get review bombed on Metacritic now, people. You see, the gods do exist. They exist in the hearts and minds of those that pray dearly to them. <laughs> now you are one with us, my friend. You shall become just as we. No better, no worse. What's this guy's problem? Look at that smirk. Who is this dude? And as you say, Mark, yes, but thou must. Oh yeah, I've already, I've already had that conversation. 
Now, if we want to quickly make a lot of money, potentially, one of the things you can do is go here. Because this marsh one has an absolute ton. Yeah, kick, it, kick, kick, him, kick him in the junk because he's a smoker. I agree. So this is a way to make quite a lot of bank quite quickly. Using this particular area. Because look at how many reeds there are to cut down. Back in the day, did I repeatedly cycle here to get money? Yeah, of course I did. Of course I came back here repeatedly. With a mining bomb, this work will be finished in 8.3 seconds flat. That's an oddly specific time. Well, all right. Give or take a tenth. But I wouldn't give one of those babies right now. You know, Jess used to make them. So. A mining bomb. 8.3 seconds. That would still be faster than a kick Sauber pit stop. Low hanging fruit, Joe. I'm sure you appreciate our joke. I, I, I don't abuse the game mechanics. I just utilize them to the best of their potential, Mark. That's all I do. I don't abuse the mechanic. I just use it to my advantage. That's a difference. I had, a, I had a fight on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth the other day. I'm not going to spoil which one it was. And initially, I got my ass absolutely handed to me. Until I realised one tiny little change to my setup made me practically invincible for that fight. So I did. And I was. So what we really need to do is go back to town, so I'll go and do that in a second. But I just wanted to go and show you how wide the area is. There's a, I love this kind of like old school, like sprite animated style. It was it was it was the last of the sprite and the sprite RPGs, really. Because after this, you had the likes of say Wild Arms, you had the likes of uh, Breath of Fire 3, uh, Final Fantasy 7, obviously, where they went much more polygonal. But this still has that old school charm of the late Sega Mega Drive Super Nintendo era. And it's got, even back in 1997, I had a major fondness playing it because it reminded me of those great times. Not bad considering I wasn't even 18 when I played this game. I was the sprightly age of 15 years old. Right, so I'm going to quickly go and save my game. Listen, peasant, I'm... Huh? You did what? You went to the Creaky Manor and you speak Tarns? I hate to admit this, but that's pretty cool, even for a peasant. What? Have your senses left you? Why would you go to Tarns' Spooky Manor alone? Oh, that bump on your head must have mixed you up more than I guessed. Your body is healed, but I think that head of yours is still broken. Yeah. Dad Jess is not impressed with us, people. He'll, he'll, he'll ground us now for a week. We need a lunch to get someone's dream. No, he's grounded until I say he's allowed. Yep, so that's not changed. Say so some dialogue in the village just changes and others don't, so it's a bit... It's still a thing you see to this day, actually. You play some of the modern JRPGs, the dialogue doesn't update very often. It's quite intriguing in many ways. Yep, see, so that's the same dialogue as before with... Um, Sybil, who probably means perfectly well, but just has a very, like, creepy art style to her. And I kind of like that the character that looks a bit freaky and weird is actually really, really nice and has a heart of gold. 
Because normally when the characters look freaky and weird in this in this era, they were freaky and weird. Lalundra, I have news for you. Come, please come near. Wendell is not alone in his affliction of cursed dreams. There is a girl named Sybil who dreams though she is awake. Waking dreams? That's an unusual uh, mechanic to put in a game. She claims that in her dreams she sees events that have yet to occur, so she's a clairvoyant. Nadia is another. She sleeps and strange events occur. Nearby objects explode as if packed with dynamite. Um, so we've got a seer on one side and Carrie White on the other. A Stephen King inspired RPG. Maybe that's why I liked it so much. I've told her she's not slept in days and teeters near insanity. I journeyed here three year long years ago. I had heard tales of a village cursed by eerie happenings. Unfortunately, I got lost in Silent Hill. I believed I could determine the cause of the madness. But all I've ascertained thus far is the limits of my ability. But now that you've come, everything has changed. You hold the power to stop the nightmares, Alundra. I've witnessed your might in combating the evil, and I envy you. Alundra, with your power and my knowledge, we can save the good people of Inoa. We can find the source of the evil nightmares. And we can banish it to the eternal prison of history. Okay. Galundra, please use your power to help the people of my village. Nadia, what did you do? Feels like an earthquake. Oh, this is terrible! Awful! It's collapsed! The freaking coal mine has collapsed! The coal mine? Let's go, Alundra. Perhaps we can help. You say Septimus is a name that sounds familiar to you. If the coal mine collapsed, I fear there may be souls trapped in it. We must do whatever lies within our means to get them out, Alundra. Alan is the sole survivor of the cave-in, but he's only just alive. He's been taken in the mayor's house. Right, let's talk, let, let, let's um, quickly go and talk to Alan. Owen is a bright one, you know what I'm saying, but he's barely alive. Did you not have time to warn the others before he escaped, I wonder? Why have the gods done this to Olin? A kinder man does not walk this land. Uh, uh, help! Help! Olin and the others are experts at their work. But could one of them have caused this accident? Oh, yeah, that's right. Blame the villagers, man. Blame the villagers. What should I do? I just have no idea as to the best course of action. If he doesn't improve soon, this child won't survive through the night. And yet she's eye smiling while she says that? Am I the only one seeing this? By the gods. Klein has given me interesting news, Alundra. He said that when Olin was brought into town, just before he passed out, he whispered the word, Merg. Did you say Merg? How is it that we have had those misfortune of crossing those devilish monkeys from the tree? And it's even more curious that they've attacked humans. They usually don't do that. The coal mine is near the area where the Merg live. It's quite possible their work dis disturbed them. Can you imagine the horrors, Zane and the others? Hearing the low rumble of the roof about to cave in. Having just enough time to realize what's about to happen. And then... Bury alive, suffocating under tons of damp, pungent soil. That's crazy. But why would the Murg react so violently in the first place to cause such a terrible thing? 
if we try to rescue Zane and the others, the Murg might attack again. How can I justify risking lives to save lives? Oh, you weaselly piece of shit. You coward. But we can't just wait for it to happen. Alundra, I think we both know what must be done. There's only one way to learn what happened at the mine. You must enter Olin's mind. You have to explore his dream, or whatever state he's experiencing. But, remember this word of caution. If Olin should perish while you yet inhabit his unconscious, you will surely perish as well. And Olundra's like... Who cares? I I'm, I'm game. Let's go. It's a vehicle driven solely by the power of steam. Amazing, isn't it? Of course, it's completely my idea. I'm not as dense as I appear, but actually a genius. Hey there, Alundra. Would you go tell Zane to start the engine? I think he's in the back room. Hello there, Alundra. You come just in time to help us expand this mine. We're pretty sure that northwest of here there's tons of rich coal. Of course, digging that direction will put us near the big tree to Murgan inhabit. But, who cares about the environment, huh? All of wants me to start the engine? Why didn't he come and tell me himself? Fine, boy, I'll do as you say. But I'll talk to all about his choice of messengers later. But, I did the job, what's your problem? All you have to do is throw the levers to the left, left, right, and left. You can remember that, can't you? Or is that too difficult for your tiny elf brain? Left, left, right, left. Yeah, and he says the same thing again. is very loud. Far too loud. Check it out, Lundra. I finally got a mining bomb. With this baby I'll be to smash with stone like nobody's business. Stick around and maybe you can see it in action. What the? It's the Merg! What are they doing here? Alundra, can you hear me? Alun is hurt very badly. You must hurry. Return to us soon. Alundra, are you all right? What did you find at the mine? Were there Merg? What did you say? Olin and the others were attacked by the Merg? They dug a tunnel into our mine? But why? I am certain that the mine shaft collapsed because of the Merg. I never imagined the Merg were clever enough to dig tunnels, let alone ambush. They dug a tunnel into our mine. And when the hole was large enough... Those damn baboons must be planning an attack on our peaceful village. Oh, ugh. Oh no. If nothing happens, Olin is going to... No, it's too late. No. Alundra, you can go home now. I'm sure you're exhausted after this sordid ordeal. Besides, the sorry business now at hand is not your concern. Oh, wow. Yes, Alundra, you failed to save him. 
Now get out of my sight, you utter abject failure of a human being. America probably preparing to attack as we speak. We can only hold that our deaths come quickly when they swarm the village. The Merg climbed through and attacked. But the whole weakened the stability of the whole mine in the collapse of a great brawl. See, what's going on there? I must begin arrangements for Olin's funeral at once. You should return to Justice House and rest up. I'm certain you must be exhausted after the trials you've endured. Play the sorrowful music. Tell me the truth, Alandra. No one else will. Is Olin going to live? Or is he condemned to? Oh, Alandra. This all feels like a strange, horrid nightmare. If it is, why can't I wake up? Oh, Kisha. My sister had strong feelings for Olin. If she learns he has expired, she will most certainly be crushed. Um, dude? She's literally there? I told I warned him. I warned him. The gods can be cruel. At times, events like this are a true test of one's faith. Oh, shut up. You god-bothering prick. Shut the fuck up. I can only pray Kisha possesses the strength to withstand this cruel trial. Here's a trial. Okay, shut the fuck up. Fuck up, you knob. Dude, no way. Behemoth's murder in the mine? Not to spread bad vibes, bro, but Zane and Lyman are in some stinky guacamole, and the stuff's deep. Good lord, that's nice as anything, isn't it? In stinky guacamole. Giles. Now my number one hated character, I think. No sense of tact. No sense of understanding. And that's coming from me. So you know he's got problems. He must have serious problems. Everyone's locked the doors because, well, they're either not home or they're all trying to make sure they're not next. Alundra, not too long ago the people of this land prayed to idols. They were material representations of our gods, you know. But then, quite unexpectedly, the king decreed all idol worship forbidden. The people had no choice but to comply. We watched the destruction of our statues in tears. About that time, the palace in the North Lake was submerged. Sunk, actually. That was five years ago. But it feels as if it was just yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and the sound of the hammering is like the moon around you, sea of stars. It'd be an interesting reference if that's where they got it from. Since that time, we've lost the passion to create. What if the gods became angry and took our passion from us? I'm not saying they did, but it most certainly makes me think at night, my boy. But gods are no. I must regain my passion. You know what I'm saying? I can almost hear Olden's spirit talking to me, demanding that I make the finest weapons once more. Or even better, demanding I assist in the fight for this land. This is the mining bomb. It's actually just a bomb, but since it's used for mining, that's what they call it. A nice way to get through rocks, you know what I'm saying, Alundra? With this, you could easily get into the coal mine, but it's just too dangerous to attempt, my boy. Here's the plan. I go to the mine, I see if it's safe, and maybe I'll let you go inside. You stay here, alright? One way or the other, I'm going to keep you alive through this. In the interim... 
The Wanderer disobeys and stealthily takes the mining bomb. Storming it in his pack to, defy de to avoid detection. How do you stealthily nick a bomb that big? Do you want me to show you the problem, right? What, here's the problem with stealth in this. Watch this. Look at the size of the damn thing. How do you stealthily fro avoid that? Oh, Josh really disappoints him. This chest is locked. If the keyhole shape wasn't so picked, unusual, it could be picked. Okay. Let's just blow it up. Nope. Can't do it. You're not allowed. How annoying is that? You'd think setting one of those charges on the hinges would do the job, but apparently Jess's chest is made of... I don't know, um... Weapons grade safe material or something. You tell me, I don't know. So it's on to the mine, people. We're going to the mines. But first, let's stock up on money if we can. I just like how the game has gone. Now that you've left town, the time for crying's over. Let's bring back the adventure music. Games have always done that. So it's always been funny. It's nice to play a game where you're actually in control a lot of the time. You don't feel like you're having to skip dialogue and move on. You can literally just play the game. So I could have taken the stairs, but why would I do that when I can be the adventurer and take all kinds of different things? Meanwhile, what's in here? If anything at all. There's a lock gate. How frustrating. But... Ah! That's a solid wall. That's annoying. I'll say the only way you can play it now, Avian, is if you either emulate it or buy it on the PlayStation 3 version of the PlayStation Network. Alundra, why do you have that mining bomb? Oh, are you crazy? You can't go into the mine. You should be lucky to come out alive. I refuse to let you go, Alundra. You can't. You shouldn't. Oh, I give up. Provide me this. Promise me this, all right, Alondra. If you sense danger, don't be a hero. Just get out of there alive, okay? You fear a Lazarus in the coal mine? In the murk? There's no time for fear, boy. If you want any of the mine to help those people, I will. My earnest prayers with those trapped within. Ah, yeah. Unfortunately, it's not... It's not. Yeah, if you've not got a PS3, then you can't play it legally. I was say... If you're willing to sail the seven seas, you can play it by getting um, a, a way I have played it. Ah, right. I, I, I get this. I don't think I can get here yet. That's an unlock for later. Um, Mark, I don't want you putting links like that in my chat, please. YouTube might flag it as piracy and potentially loot my channel. Please don't do that. If it, if, it, if it involves not buying it legit, please don't post it there. It could cause serious problems for me.
Oh, right, these ones, they actually shoot projectiles. So you have to be a bit more careful with them. But one way you can do it... ...is to use the bombs. Yeah, let's say I appreciate you asking there rather than just doing it. Don't get me wrong, I mean, the method's easy. It works well. And again, this is why I wish that there was more done to preserve games, because there's no reason I can think of that this can't be ported to the modern uh, PlayStation Network for PS4 and PS5. And I'll tell you why. It's because the company that made this game is actually owned by Sony. Sony owned the company, much like they do with the company who made Media Vision, who made Wild Arms. And the, while they ported the Wild Arms games over, for some reason, they've not done it with this game, and to this day, I don't know why. As I, mean, I, can, I say, I can share the way privately. Not a problem. But it's not something I can put in the chat, because, again, I don't want the tubes going to my channel. There was a store um, that I knew years ago. There were a hydroponics store. You peer into the chest in the hopes of finding something overlooked. But sadly, it remains empty. Yeah, that's right. You can actually re-examine the chest and get told, nope, you've had your fill. You're not getting any more. So I say, I mean, the method's quite common, and as I say, if there was more ways to, if there was more ways to preserve the game without paying hundreds of dollars, I'd love to share it. It's crazy. Oh, for God, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go to the right. Okay, here we go, people. We're going in. So we are in the coal mine. Yeah, just stand there, Alundra. Getting major, this is fine vibes. Yeah, this is fine. Right, so... Okay, I can't get in. Right, these little things are annoying. You can blow them up using bombs if you're careful. That's an absolutely top tip. If you get them to look straight at you, with the shells up, they don't hurt. They can, you can't you can't hurt them. But you get them to shoot fire, they blow the bomb up for you and kill themselves. Ah. That's what I was trying to do. Wookie! How about that? Does that hurt for this one? Does it make you bleed? Wookie! Smash the various ones! Kill! Kill! Kill them all! No! No! no. Stop it! Uh, Alondra! Help me! Huh? Another fearless one! Come close to this fearless one so we can spill both your delicious brains! Probably 
problem is that they now have full movement here, whereas I don't, and it's annoying as anything. However, if they want to glitch themselves in that position, then that's fine by me. No, don't talk to me, not now. I'm in the middle of a fight. Oh, you're a strong warrior with a good heart. Listen, I'm not long for this merciless world. Here, to take this. It's the access key to the power room. Jamal and Zayn are still in there. Please, help them. So that's how we can get out of here. Now, what is this? Herbs. Excellent. Quick tip, use jumps where you can here. It's faster. Oh, money. We found money. Money is good. Oh. I'm carrying too much to keep the herbs, eh? Excuse me, then. I might as well get a freebie. Yay, more money. Excellent. That's actually really cheap, but it works so well. Even, even using the bomb is not enough to get that working. Let's so, get so many more games to the list I gave you. No, I, I can, I can sympathise with that with the way I'm playing games at the moment. I'm playing through that many, it's crackers. There we go, we've now used the key. Left, left, right, left. Yeah, see? Wasn't too much for my, for my old fur brain. Oh, no, 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 no. So, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the greatest cliche of them all. We're going minecart riding. Ah, that's now opened the, opened the fans, which is awesome. Ah, another code. I've never heard, I, I, I remember there was a game called Rain Code, which looked kind of interesting. But I've never heard of another code. You have to tell me more about that, Avian. get through. How typical. So because I can't get through there, what I'm going to have to do... Well, this... Yeah, that's locked. So there's only one way for me, which is to go back the way I came. But I think we can now access the left-hand side. Because all we'll have to do is come back here and then throw the switch. So there is a little bit of backtracking involved, to say the least. Now, so I'm, I'm hoping, speaking of Sea of Stars, of course, I'm hoping to get my copy for the Switch and PS5 soon. Because I, I want them in my collection. So it'll be nice to take her um, Valar to the um, to the convention in Canada. Technically, take her home. Won't be able to take my bow staff across internationally though. That's not going to happen. Weapons are a new no, new no when it comes to flying. So 
that one's locked, so we need to find a way in. And annoyingly, there isn't a way. Great. Okay. Yeah, I've got a plan for it, uh, Mark. I've got a plan for when I'm actually in Canada. Um, I'm just going to need to, a few visits to a couple of dollar stores. Just a plan for that one. I have a plan. Because I also refuse to take one that's made of wood. I get the feeling that one of these routes, if that's the one I went to before, I've just noticed there's a door to the right. So let's go here instead. Oh no! Tell you what. Purely because I can't be bothered. We tanked her. To her. I don't think it's quite at that level, but I know what you mean. Yeah, we don't need to do it this way, but it's kind of funny. The power, the power of wooden blocks will be enough. So now that we've got the power on here, we should be able to... Admits the switch then, turns out I hadn't. Oh no! Too bad. See you later. Bye bye. Yep, thanks to the freebies. So also we've got no choice but to go down here. But yeah, I can't be bothered. I find it interesting to give you all these weapons that you can use in place of your own actual sword if you want. 
looks like the game realizes just what you can do. But here we go. We're through to the next area. And look, it's the Merg. The fearless ones have returned. We must kill. Yes, kill, kill, kill! Jalen doesn't respond. His body is already beginning to stiffen. A key is loosely clasped in his left hand. That will now allow us to get into that locked gate on the other side. We will be able to get through there. And see because I fancy being a troll again. change direction. It only goes in four in four modes. But yeah, this is going pretty well so far. So this game, as I say, it was a random addition to the rotation thanks to Alice unfortunately failing to capture. I am gonna do some research over the coming days so we can try and find out what went wrong because I'd like to finish Alice. But there may be a situation where I may have to unfortunately do that one offline. If it's one of those where I need to be really fiddly with the capture. I'd rather not, to be honest, because it'll mess up the whole dynamic of the show. So I'm going to try and avoid it where I can. That being said, this is a lot of fun to play. It's a very old school game, very much an adventure. Nice feeling to it. And you can see a lot of influence that it had on later games, even if it was overshadowed by the likes of Final Fantasy VII, by the likes of Breath of Fire III, Final Fantasy VIII, Wild Arms, Casino Gears. It's a game that is one of the many legendary RPGs of this era. The PS1 was arguably, for its time, the strongest of the JRPG homes. You could find so many classics there if you knew what you were looking for. Neat little feature here. You can actually move these carts so you can actually start moving around places, which I think is kind of neat. Okay, I found some herbs to replace what I had before. Can't carry those, I've got too many. Bit of an old school puzzle that one really isn't it people and this is the way the game carries on we can also knock it down here too and as you can see, there's all kinds of things we can do in order to move the claim forward. Interestingly, I think we can actually break that box. If we jump in the minecart... All we need to do then is create a way to be able to access the switch. But these little portals here... It replenishes your health, replenishes your magic, and crucially, provides a mid-dungeon save point. So, I know it's only been an hour and 40 minutes for this game, or an hour and 50, due to the way the streams have aligned, but I've really enjoyed playing this game, and it's one that I'd like to keep in the rotation, because it's such a nice difference to be able to play a totally different era, and play a different style of JRPG. So, that's the Adventures of Alundra. I've been Swishbone, and we are going to be back. And we will be back on Friday evening at 8pm BST. That's why right, it was daylight savings time last week for us here in the UK. So we're now an hour ahead of when we were. So 8pm BST will be back to go and play more Final Fantasy X. And I'm sure you're all looking forward to the salt of the sphere grid that will await. So until then... Thank you all very, very much for watching. 
and catch a card. Do your effing job. <laughs>